Let's uh, go to Sonal. She's here to tell us about uh, MGL as well as uh, IGL. Sonal? Uh, good morning, Nigel. Well, I'm also tracking Gale. Let me quickly tell you about that first up because the PNGRB, they issued uh, an unchanged unified tariff order with, its, with the effect from April 1st. It is steady, but they will be revising the tariff for, from June because there will be new pipelines that will come in play as well. The current tariff regime, Jeffrey says, is already factored in and they maintain an underperform with a target price of 150 rupees a share. Let's talk about MGL and IGL right now. Uh, there is a Prabhudas Leeladhar note where they say that electric vehicles pose the biggest threat to CNG. CNG sales account for 75 and 73% of the total sales for both these companies. But sustainability of CNG volume growth has been a concern due to the rising adoption of EVs. They've downgraded IGL to a whole, uh, from a whole to a reduce uh, with a target price of 382 rupees a share. They've also downgraded MGL to uh, a sell from a whole a reduce right now with a target price of 1124 rupees a share. Uh, they are comparing with the China because China's total gas consumption has grown aided by rest residential and industrial demand, but not so much by CNG demand. The four listed CNG players there, they have seen a degrowth and they expect IGL and MGL to see the same thing and the same fate as well, where volumes will decline because higher penetration of EVs as well. And that's the reason they are uh, not, uh, they are bearish on these two names. All right. Thanks a lot for that.